Hey, what is up guys? This is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Funko Pop Golden Age Batman. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that the figure is showcased in your standard Funko Pop packaging. We can see that he is numbered at 140, and we can also see the Funko Specialty Series exclusive sticker on the front. Turning the box around, we can see Golden Age Batman showcased on the left side of the box, and in the center, all six figures from this wave. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and see what we have inside. Alright guys, now we're going to open up Golden Age Batman here. Uh, pretty stoked to get this guy in hand, and uh, there are a couple reasons why I'm pretty stoked about this. Um, and yes, this guy is rad. Uh, so before we take a look at him, I want to show you guys the back of the box. Now let's check this out here. Uh, we are getting new pops, a whole new lineup of pops right here. Uh, and again, the, one of the reasons why I'm so stoked about this specific set is because we're getting new body molds uh, for the new pops. So as we can see right here, we get a new White Lantern Batman. Uh, a Golden Age Batman, which is what we have here, a Super Friends Batman, Earth One Batman, which I'm pretty stoked about, a Darkest Night Batman, and then a Black Suit Batman. Uh, some of these have been released previously before, um, but now they're going to be coming with the new body molds and whatnot. And that's both really cool, and at the same time a little disappointing. Uh, that makes me wonder if we're just going to get re-releases of, of a bunch of other pops that we've already had. You know, just with the new updated body molds and whatnot, so... Yeah, we'll wait and see. But let's take a look at Golden Age Batman here. And this guy is freaking sweet, man. Um, something about just the vintage, like, you know, the old Batman, the original Batman, uh, is just very charming to me. Uh, we get the purple gloves. You know, that's something just very unique uh, to the original Batman. Uh, same thing with that, you got that old school Bat logo, you know, without the, the ears or the head and whatnot. It's just like Bat wings. Uh, I think it's really cool. I love we get like the partially closed eyes, look really great on this. Uh, nice big pointed ears, looks really, really cool. Love just like his pose, uh, what, what opposed to like the original pop figure, where it's just kind of just standing straight, uh, just kind of, you know, still, no real actual, no, no actual action pose, uh, where this guy has a little more motion to him and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we got the blue on the inside of the cave, looks really nice. Uh, all the paint work on this guy is really, really clean. I love it a lot. And then we get that, that windswept cape. Looks really, really good. Really nice mold for the cape, too. So I am really stoked to have this guy in hand. And again, like I'm really looking forward to seeing where they're going to go uh, using these body molds. And I absolutely love it. I'm so glad that we're getting based initially first appearance Batman. I know here they call him Golden Age Batman, but this is the original look for Batman. So I'm pretty stoked that they finally have them in pop form and I am so excited that we're getting so many more pop figures of Batman to come in the near future so if you can find this guy I know he's gonna be hard to get well, along with some of the other ones but if you can find him I really suggest picking him up I don't think you'll be disappointed at all so for a quick size comparison here he is standing next to a Marvel Legends Captain America figure as well as a DCUC Batman figure and for your Golden Age Batman comparison, here he is standing next to a DCUC Legacy Edition Golden Age Batman from Mattel. And for your Funko Pop comparison, here he is standing next to the first release Funko Pop Batman, in which you can see Golden Age Batman utilizing the new head and body sculpt. And just for fun, here he is standing next to Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Funko Pop Specialty Series exclusive, Golden Age Batman. And it's awesome to finally get a first appearance Batman figure in pop form, and if you're a diehard Batman fan like I am, then this figure is definitely a must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy my friends. Peace.